Alzheimer's Awareness Month, Dr. Eric Farvman of Roseman Medical Group is joining us to answer some of your important questions about Alzheimer's. So Dr. Eric Farvman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is a very important topic, especially now that in November we're talking about Alzheimer's Awareness Month. So what is this disease all about for those uh, of us who are not so familiar about what causes it? Well, uh, most of the time when you hear that somebody has dementia, they have Alzheimer's and it's uh, strictly speaking, it's forgetfulness plus other cognitive problems like planning tasks or multitasking, mm -hmm. those type of things. And what are the signs and symptoms that people should be on the lookout for? Um, oftentimes, forgetfulness, so there'll be re repetition. They may ask the same question over and over or uh, not realize you already told them something that's, I think, the earliest sign. Mm -hmm. And is there any particular moment when you think you should be going to the doctor to have yourself checked? Uh, well, ironically, usually the person is unaware. It's usually family members. And so I guess if you see a family member who doesn't seem to remember things or having trouble doing tasks that they used to do, fortunately, it, it tends to be older, like mid-60s would be the average age of onset. Mm -hmm. And when we're going into treatment, we were talking about earlier some breakthroughs possible uh, recently. We're seeing a lot about technological advancements as well as research. What do we have as far as treatments right now? So there's about four medicines that are FDA approved in the United States, but the last one was approved in 2003. But just this past week in China, they approved a new medicine uh, that's completely different than all the others. We'll have to see if it actually does anything, but it's at least something new, hopefully. And yeah, November is actually also a caregiver's month. And we also want to recognize special people who take care, uh, caregivers rather. Uh, and for people with Alzheimer's and their family members who are usually the caregivers, that also takes its toll on them. What would be uh, an advice for people who are caregivers uh, for family members who have Alzheimer's? Yeah, it's a thankless task for the caregivers because the patients don't usually realize anything's wrong. So the thing I usually tell the caregivers is they have to take care of themselves too, make sure they keep themselves healthy so that they can help their spouse or parent or loved one. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Farman. It's really, really important that we talk about this topic. Yeah, thank you.